Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Black Cliff weapons that just came out this month. Obviously, every month the Black Cliff weapons change. So let me just go to, into the shop here, show you guys the new weapons. Uh, obviously, they're not new. They've been around for a really long time. But if you guys haven't picked them up yet, this is a really good chance for you to do so. Not to mention, Fischl and Jangling are in the shop. Do not get these constellations. There are way too many of them in the game. And they're so apparent. They're, they occur so many times. They're in so many baroness. Um, I don't think you should <laughs> get these at all. Obviously, um, I think getting a Black Cliff is really good. However, this time around, it might be a bad idea just because of the sole reason that you might get another weapon. For example, Inazuma's coming, and it's coming real fast and real soon, and you might want to save up on your Masterless Star Glitter. Obviously, um, I only have 20 here, so I technically can't even buy one of these, but I do have some Prime Gems and some Summons left, which means I'll probably be able to get these weapons by the end of the month. But, before I do get these weapons, I still have a chance to wait to see what comes out in Inazuma, and if I still want these weapons. So I still have a chance to wait and see what's going to come up next, especially in the new livestream. The livestream is going to come out within the next couple of weeks, so we can expect to see that very soon. And not only that, but we can also expect to see other things. We can also expect the, you know, Inazuma patch coming soon, so we can try to see the what the livestream shows us, if it's going to show us any new characters, new weapons, new banners, new whatever it is. All of it is going to be in that live stream, so that live stream is really important. So you might want to hold on to your masterless star glitter. Obviously in the Stardust Exchange, I would suggest you guys get these 100 and million, 10 billion percent. You should get these because these are free every month and I don't think you're going to do anything else with the Stardust at all. All right, let me show you guys some Black Cliff weapon users. So for example, we have Yula. Um, you could actually use a Black Cliff weapon for Eula, as you guys can see I have the Black Cliff Slasher. Currently I'm not using this on my Eula because well, uh, I have a Wolf's Gravestone and I did have a Snow Tombed Star Silver. If I didn't build the, storm, the Snow Tombed Star Silver, I would be using this 100% because it has a crit damage uh, substat and the base attack is pretty good. And not to mention, after defeating opponent, you get 12% increased attack for the refinement 1, and it gets a maximum of 3 stack, which means 36% more attack. And I think that's pretty good, especially for a character like Eula. Another person that can also benefit from this is obviously, where is she here? She is Beto. Uh, I definitely think Beto would rock this weapon 100%. In fact, I'm going to equip it on her. Another person that would benefit from a weapon like the Black Whip Slasher is, there he is, Chong Yoon. I do think Chong Yoon would benefit a lot from the Black Whip Slasher, but in my opinion, he could just rock the Sacrificial Greatsword or the Snow Tomb Star Silver or the Serpent Spine. I do need to level up the Serpent Spine though, it's just too good. Anyways, move on. Um, another weapon that could be used as, you know, a you know, a Black Cliff type is the Black Cliff uh, Catalyst. I myself do not have it, I do not own it, but if you do not have a Widsith, this is a good way for you to get crit damage on it, and it's pretty good as well. Um, but if you do have a Widsith, I recommend using the Widsith because the Widsith is better, it is better, in my opinion. Another character that I do have a Black Cliff Pole on um, is the, you know, Black Cliff Pole for Yao. Zhao is really good, excellent actually, if you have a refinement rank 5, especially for him. He's going to have so much attack, he's always going to have a buff going on. Because he just does too much damage, you're, you're going to get that buff either way. Alright, so in my opinion, it's really good for him, especially because his whole ascension stat is crit, crit rate, right? So since it's crit rate, you get crit damage to kind of balance it, and it's an easy build. So I definitely recommend it. Alright, moving on, the Black Cliff Bow does not work on Venti, try not, just just don't use it on Venti, <laughs> just just don't. Uh, Venti can rock Favonius as I am here, or he could rock the Stringless, which I definitely could. But, alright, so moving on, uh, another person that could use the one of the weapons, and which I might decide on using, is Kaching. 
I don't have it, the sword right now and I'm thinking of getting it if I have the masterless star glitter for it. Definitely get the black cliff longsword. Black cliff longsword on Kaching is gonna help her so much. Not only is her crit damage going to be at least 200% if you have at least decent artifacts. But if you do not have decent artifacts at all, you can get a crit rate mask or a crit rate helmet and just slap it on her and you'll, you're going to have a good build. Just because you have that 50% crit damage from one of the Black Cliff Longsword weapons. So it's going to be really good for her. Moving on. It's kind of, I don't like saying this because the Dodoko Tails is actually really good. But the Black Cliff Catalyst for for Klee is not too bad. It's not too bad. It's, it's copium. It's extremely copium. I would never recommend it ever to anyone. So... If, if you are considering getting a black cliff weapon for her, uh, I don't know. If you don't have the D Dodoka tail at R5, okay, sure, <laughs> do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's going to be it for all the characters that I think should have the black cliff weapon. 